Welcome back to Windows 10 Administration. This is Section 5, Troubleshooting Windows 10. This video is on Windows Error Reporting. In this video, we will cover Windows Error Reporting, Automatic Maintenance, and Troubleshoot in the Settings app. Windows Error Reporting allows users to notify Microsoft of application faults, kernel faults, unresponsive applications, and other application-specific problems. Microsoft and application developers can use this information to debug their applications and hopefully make them better in the future. If you get a dialog asking to send additional information for troubleshooting, say yes. This information gets looked at to make the products better. Automatic maintenance. Windows automatically runs scheduled maintenance on a daily schedule. By default, this schedule is at 2 a.m. It will wake your computer up to run this maintenance. You can change this in the control panel System and Security, Security and Maintenance, Automatic Maintenance section. In the Settings app, go to Update and Security. This includes Virus and Security Scanning, Performance Updates, Various Diagnostics, and Windows Update. It will wait until your computer is not in use before doing this scan. That means that if you notice your computer is doing something at 2 in the morning, it's because it is doing this scan. On the other hand, if you happen to be working on your computer at 2 in the morning, it will postpone the scan until the computer has been idle for a certain amount of time before doing the scan. You can trigger the scan by using the Start Maintenance link under Security and Maintenance in the Control Panel. Under Maintenance, you can click the Start Maintenance link to start a scan. You can also click the Change Maintenance Settings link to change when this daily task gets run. In the Settings app, Go to Update and Security. On the left-hand side is an item for Troubleshoot. Recommended Troubleshooting. Windows includes a variety of troubleshooters designed to diagnose and solve various computer problems. It can't fix everything, but chances are the most common problems are covered in here. There are three sections in the Troubleshoot section of the Settings app. Microsoft automatically fixes certain critical problems on your device to keep it running smoothly. It will list out recommendations, you can view the history and set recommended troubleshooting settings. And you can view recommended troubleshooting settings here at the bottom. Ask me before fixing problems. Fix problems for me without asking. Tell me when problems get fixed and only fix critical problems for me. For most users, the default ask me before fixing problems will be fine. Get up and running. You can find problems with internet connection, playing audio, Printers, and Windows Update. Find and fix other problems. For example, let's say that 4K video playback isn't working. You can run the video playback troubleshooter to find out that you need to install the HEVC codec pack from the Microsoft Store. I want to continue with this troubleshooter. It will check various things for video playback and then it will recommend install the HEVC codec for 4K playback. You can click the Microsoft Store link and it will take you to the Microsoft Store where you can purchase the HEVC video extensions. Then click Next and troubleshooting has completed. However, not every troubleshooter is listed here. There is another list of troubleshooters in the control panel. Search for troubleshooters and then click the View All link. This is an exhaustive list of all of the troubleshooters available on this computer. 